good morning today's topic is quantitative aspects of electrolysis and faraday's law so michael faraday first describes quantitative aspects of electrolysis first let us discuss faraday's first law faraday's first law what is faraday's first law According to this law, the amount of substance deposited or liberated at any electrode is directly proportional to the charge passed. Okay. Amount of substance deposited or liberated. At any electrode. is directly proportional to directly proportional to the charge passed charge passed through it now let w is the amount of substance deposited of liberated and q is the charge part so w is proportional to q or W will be equal to some proportionality constant into Q. Proportionality constant is Z. Also, Q is equal to IT. I is the current and T is the time. So, W is equal to ZIT. Okay. And Z is the electrochemical equivalent of the substance deposited. Okay, electrochemical equivalent of the substance. Okay, and Z will be equal to equivalent weight of the substance deposited. Divided by 96500. Zero, zero. This is a constant. Okay. Now, next, what is next is Faraday's second law. Let us discuss Faraday's second law. So, Faraday's second law. What is Faraday's second law? Faraday's second law states that when same quantity of electrode uh, of electricity is passed through solutions of different electrolytes which are connected in series what happens the weight of the substance produced at the electrode are directly proportional to their equivalent weight that is if two solutions are taken the uh, the equal the weight of the substance produced will be equal to will be proportional to the their equivalent weights the equivalent weights of that substance produced okay now that is it states that when same quantity of electricity when same quantity of electricity is passed through the solution of different electrolytes solution of different electrolytes which are connected in series which are connected in series okay what happens the weight of the substance produced the weight of the substance produced at electrodes are directly proportional to their equivalent weights directly proportional to their equivalent weights let us uh, discuss with suitable examples that is two solutions let the solutions are silver nitrate and copper sulfate example silver nitrate solution 
and copper sulfate solution which are connected in series. Then what happens? The weight of the substance produced at the electrode WAG and weight of the substance Cu. Okay. These are the weight of the substance produced at the electron which is proportional to their equivalent weights. Equivalent weight of silver by equivalent weight of copper. Okay. Now, what is equivalent weight? Equivalent weight is atomic weight by number of electrons required to reduce the cation. Okay. So, equivalent weight of silver, silver requires one electron because Ag plus to reduce Ag plus it requires one electron. So, the equivalent weight of silver will be atom, its atomic weight by one. But in the case of copper, it is Cu2 plus two electrons are required to reduce it, reduce it as cation. So, equivalent weight of copper will be its atomic weight by two. Now, let us discuss in detail. Let us take few examples. In the case of sodium, Na plus to reduce this, one electron is required. Whereas copper, 2 plus, it requires 2 electrons. Okay. Aluminium, plus 3, it requires 3 electrons. Okay, like that. Now, well, so here in this case, in the case of sodium, we can uh, we can see one mole electron produce one mole sodium. Okay, one mole electron produce one mole sodium. But here, two mole electron produce two mole copper like that. Okay. So, in the case of aluminium, 3 mole electron is required to produce 1 mole, 1 mole copper. So, 3 mole electron produce 1 mole aluminium like this. Okay. Now, charge of 1 electron, what is the charge of 1 electron? Charge of 1 electron is 1.0021 into 10 raise to minus 19 coulomb and Avogadro number. Avogadro number in the Avogadro number six point zero two three into ten raise to twenty-three mole inverse. Okay, so charge of one mole electron will be charge of the electron into Avogadro number. Okay, charge of one mole electron. What is the charge of one mole electron? 1.6021 into 10 raise to minus 90 into 6.023 into 10 raise to 23. This is approximately equal to 96500 coulomb mole inverse okay this much now the quantity uh, the uh, quantity of electricity is normally uh, written in faraday okay faraday is a unit quantity of electricity unit is faraday or f okay f 1 f equal 965 0 0 coulomb mole inverse. So, if we take for sodium charge of 1 mole electron is required. So, the quantity of electricity in the case of sodium it is 1 Faraday. But in the case of copper 2 electrons 2 mole electron required to produce 1 mole copper. So, 2 Faraday required in the case of aluminium 3 Faraday like that required. So, depending upon the uh, number of electrons required for the reduction, the uh, uh, Faraday, the changes, okay, changes occurs. Now, let us discuss one problem based on this. Now, the problem is a solution of copper sulphate 
is electrolyzed for 10 minutes with a current 1.5 ampere what is the mass of copper deposited at cathode molar mass is given so mass deposited mass deposit w is equal to z q so first we have to find q q is equal to i into t i is given 1.5 am strong uh, 1.5 ampere into time is 10 minutes so, so convert it into second 10 into 60 seconds so the value is 900 q will be equal to 900 coulomb now what is z here the uh, the molar mass is given molar mass by 2 faraday by 2 2 equivalent weight equivalent weight of copper will be equal to its molar mass molar mass is given by 2 2 is the 2 electrons are required because copper is reduced by accepting 2 electrons and it gets reduced to copper so 2 electrons are required so 2 faraday so this one we have to convert it into coulomb so this is equal to 63.5 by 2 into 96500 this much will be the z equivalent weight of copper so w will be equal to 63.5 by 2 into 96500 into q we already calculated 900 this is equal to the value will be 0.296 gram this much mass of copper gets deposited at cathode like this we can calculate okay